If you've been using keywords everywhere, you may have noticed something odd recently that doesn't work the way it used to. Well, don't worry, it's not broken, but if you're stressed about how the credits work and how to maximize your searches, then you've come to the right place. I'll show you some tricks today not many people know about and how you can ensure that you won't be spending more than a couple bucks per month. What's going on creators? My name's Ron Lyons. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make videos that get more views to accelerate your channel so you can make an impact and make more money, then start by subscribing and click that bell notification so you don't miss anything. You'll get the latest tips and strategies I've learned from growing my channels so you don't have to make the same mistakes I have. All right, let's get into today's video. Okay, if you've been using keywords everywhere, then before you decide to drop them, watch this video all the way through because I'm gonna help you understand why it's going to cost you far less than the other research tools out there and why it's still the best keyword research tool. So let's go ahead and get into my screen so I can show you how to navigate the extension correctly to not use up your credits too fast. Okay, so you can see here, I'm on the Keywords Everywhere website. If you go to pricing, you'll see that we have these lovely $10, $50, $100, and it's for increments of 100,000, uh, 500,000. So basically, uh, for every 10,000, you have a dollar, right? And so one credit equals one keyword. Um, but keep in mind, this is no monthly subscription. So this isn't $10 a month or $50 a month, okay? Uh, you have to remember a lot of these other plans, SEM Rush, this is $99 a month. You know, Keywords IO, Keyword Tool IO, uh, $69 a month for their basic. Keyword Finder is $30 a month, and it's only 200 keyword suggestions and 100, 100 keyword lookups in 24 hours, right? Uh, so $10 for 100,000 credits, it could be six months, it could be a year, whatever it is. And this is where I was saying, and I'll show you a couple of key things where you're going to spend two dollars or less per month because of the amount of credits and so the first thing i want to show you to see how many credits you're going to be using and to put this in perspective if you go up to the keywords everywhere bar and you go to stats and you look at what you did last month now if you look at mine i'm just going to give you an idea i did about fifty thousand last month now this includes all the stuff i've done for my channel all of the stuff that I've done for clients because I do a lot of keyword research for other people as well as all just my browsing because I leave keywords everywhere on when I'm going on Amazon and going shopping, when I'm on Google, when I'm on YouTube and just searching for stuff randomly. My wife has my app uh, on my computer as well, or my extension I should say, on my computer as well. So she, when she's in YouTube and just typing in, she's on YouTube all the time. So I use 50, just under 50,000. And so I'll show you how, number one, you, most people aren't gonna use that many anyways, but if you use it properly and turn certain things off and go into settings, there's some very key things in settings I'll show you that will drastically reduce this. Even for me, it'll reduce this number. Um, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do that a lot of people miss is this right here. The first thing is this toggle switch right here, the on and off button, you want that turned off um when you're not doing keyword research right and you just toggle it off make sure you uh, refresh and it won't show up with the volume over here because you're just looking for what you want to watch that particular day or you're on google searching right i have mine on right now and you can see it's showing up there now here's what messes a lot of people up the second thing is remember when you start typing in here there's what's called search predict and you can see right now, none of these are showing the actual search volume because I have a feature turned off. So the way you do that is you go into settings and right down here at the bottom of the settings page under miscellaneous, you'll see show metrics for search suggestions. And that's gonna happen in Google and anywhere else where it does that. So if you click on that and we go back over here and refresh, now you can see as we type in 
you're gonna see these, these numbers pop up and you're getting charged. So you have to make sure that setting is checked, okay? Because the way that you can get around that, I'm gonna uncheck it again and refresh. So you don't have to necessarily do that. You can go one by one. So in this case, let's say I'm doing research on this particular video that I'm doing right now, and I'm gonna do a Keywords Everywhere review that's relevant to me, right? I wouldn't use Keywords Everywhere Tutorial bang Bangla. I, that's not something I would ever use. So I know I don't need to worry about that. So why waste a credit? So I can go here, click on it, and still get just the one um, number, uh, do it one at a time, right? And so again, I can go back here and you know click on Keywords Everywhere. It's gonna show 60,500. And so I can go one at a time and get those and that works. Now, incidentally, if you've noticed over here as I'm clicking on stuff, I also have TubeBuddy. And if you already have a paid version of TubeBuddy, which is very cheap, it's 14, 15 bucks, 19 bucks, something like that. And it has its own keyword research. There's a bunch of related searches, most used tags. And then there's, if you click on this part, it actually shows here a search volume, how many searches per month. And so um, you do have to have a paid version of TubeBuddy, it can't be the free one, um, but it's still rel relatively cheap and I use this, if you've seen any of my videos, I use this for a lot of other things. I look at optimization, competition, and all kinds of unweighted and unweighted and different things. So um, if you already have TubeBuddy, and I think vidIQ may do that too, I don't know for sure, don't quote me on that, but um, those are some options to use that are paid options um, that could help you with research. But I still use keywords everywhere because it's reliable and I'll explain that in a second. Now, here's another big thing that happens because you have to remember it also works on Google. And one of the things that pops on, up on Google are these widgets, okay? There's a related keyword and PASF, people also search for widget. Now you can see right now there's no numbers here but if I go into here, and this is brand new, right? These two uh, settings right here, you have to click on them. Related, PASF. Okay, go back. Refresh, and there you see the numbers. You're gonna get charged for this. So whatever you have in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, if you've got 25 here, you know, you're gonna end up with 30 keywords used in one page, right? So if you don't wanna do that, now I use that all the time for clients, um, especially when I'm working in niches that I don't know that much about, it helps me find them, but for the most part, I would have this off. Now the other thing is, you can see here, I have Amazon turned off, eBay, Etsy, Majestic, I don't use some of those, but like Amazon, I use all the time for my own personal use. So just in case I forget to turn this toggle switch off, if I have these unchecked, I'm not gonna get charged keywords either. Uh, of course, you wanna remember to turn that off, but this is kind of a second safety measure. Um, also, just to show you um, volume in the enable, disable metrics section, I have volume and highlight volume on keywords a thousand or, un, uh, or over, right? It's gonna highlight in green, and that's why you see this green right here, which is a pretty cool feature because Again, if you see me talk about keywords, I talk about finding keywords that are a thousand search volume or below. So this kind of just alerts me, hey, you're real, there's a real quick, you know, eye catching uh, color to say, hey, this one's a little bit over. You're gonna need to do some research to see if you already be able to rank for it. Um, so that's how you set that up. Of course, your API key is up here and then you can set your country and currency. So that's the settings tab. Um, a couple of other key things if you're using the analyze page. Um, I don't use it on to on YouTube at all, but because uh, I found it doesn't really work that well. But on Google, it does. It'll pick up all these words, and you go up here and you click on analyze page, and you see it's come up with uh, 635 words, right? So you're going to get charged a lot of keywords credits for that. So be careful. And then the other feature is this, uh, now this is another one that a lot of people are missing, um, is my keyword. So when you, you can see the star is highlighted here uh, because I've added it to my keywords. And so if I click on here, I have keywords stored in here that I would use for multiple videos. 
And what Keywords Everywhere says is they're gonna charge one fifth. So I, I recommend putting this on the lowest number of entries shown, which is 10. That way you're not gonna be charged for more than two. And then instead of scrolling through the pages, type in what you're gonna do. So let's say I'm gonna do a video on something with eco-friendly. I type in eco, there's my keywords. I can highlight them and download them on an Excel sheet. And so I can still use this feature and have minimum impact by doing the search over here and keeping it at 10 entries versus 50 or 100. I used to put it at 100. I'm not gonna do that now, right? Uh, and so let's get out of that and that. And so then the other one is import keywords. And so this one, if you have some keywords that you are gonna import, um, I use this every once in a while. And so let's type in, you use comma, how to rank, okay, and get metrics. This is gonna charge you as well. Um, and so you just have to be real careful what you're using. So if you're turning it off, and you're also going to settings, and making sure you're setting the show metrics and these ones right, that's gonna help make sure that you stay well below the $10, uh, 100,000 credits, and be closer to $2 or even down to $1 if you're doing only maybe 10,000 uh, keywords. Um, so those are the tips. Now here are some options like I talked about. You can see SEM Rush, um, $99 a month. These are some other paid options. We already talked about it, 69 a month here. And then Uber Suggest is a free option. There's been uh, talk about it not being as uh, accurate, but it's still free. Keyword Planner, um, I don't use Google Ads at all, but I do use the Keyword Planner, that's still free. Um, so those options are there. But here's the thing is, Keywords Everywhere, in my opinion, is still number one because of the convenience of it showing, it's, a, it's an extension, so you're gonna see it right here instead of having to toggle back to another application and copy and paste and all that kind of stuff, um, it's just right there for you. And then of course, same thing with the widgets, it's, it's all right there. Um, so that's a really huge benefit for a couple of bucks a month. Um, and then, you know, the other thing that is relevant is that it's recommended by a lot of big names. Um, you know, people like Brian Dean, Sean Cannell, Sonny Leonard Doozy, Justin Brown, Nick Nimmin, all highly recommend keywords everywhere. So it has a really good reputation because it has performed well and it is reliable and accurate. Um, and so to me, uh, it's just a no brainer. You're gonna spend not that much money, way less than some of the other options on there for something that's gonna be beneficial to help you find keywords and rank. Uh, so I hope that's been helpful. If you follow those tips, you're not going to overuse the credits and you're not going to spend much money at all. Question of the day, what keyword tool do you use? Let us know in the comments below and share some insights as to why you chose that particular one. So if you're looking for the best keywords tool, Keywords Everywhere is still the best option in my opinion. And as we saw, it'll take a ton of searches to use up more than just a couple bucks worth of keywords for most people. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below with any questions you have about growing on YouTube. I check my comments daily and I'm here to support you. You can also join my Facebook group to connect with other YouTubers from all over the world to support each other and network. Just click on the link below and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Remember, you are just one video away. I'll see you in the next video.